scenes of devastation in Guatemala after Sunday's volcanic blast. The Fuego volcano's eruption sent lava streaming down a highway. Houses near the base of the volcano were buried by a mixture of mud and lava. Dozens were killed and many have been injured. Survivors expect the death toll to rise. No, not everyone escaped. I think they were buried. We saw the lava pouring through the cornfields and we ran towards a hill. More than 3,000 people from several farming villages near the volcano have been evacuated from their homes. Rescuers say their operations will continue through the night and they hope to be able to reach areas that have been cut off from help. Guatemala's president has put the country on red alert. We decided to call for a cabinet meeting. We are going right now to the presidential house to issue a declaration of a state of emergency. We believe, based on our legislative law, that we can declare a state of calamity in at least three departments. Volcanic ash spewed into the sky 6,000 meters above sea level and fell more than 40 kilometers away in Guatemala City. Authorities were forced to temporarily close the city's international airport. We shut it down as a precautionary measure for the planes because volcanic ash is harmful to the turbines. Right now we are carrying out inspections and we have found a lot of ash. The Fuego volcano is one of Central America's most active volcanoes. This is its second eruption this year and the biggest in decades. And experts say the Fuego volcano's fury might not be over yet. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Guatemala.